Aryan Khan in Arthur Road prison and five others arrested with him have now been shifted out, shifted to the common cell, which was earlier they were being put up in a quarantine barrack in the Arthur Road prison and that is when their COVID test was done. The COVID report has come negative. They have now been shifted to the common cell. What does that really mean? I'm going to go across to Mustafa Sheikh for all the latest. Mustafa, this must be a procedure, but this also shows how long really Arun Khan has been in prison already, which has been about 12 days that he's been put in a quarantine barrack, then now been shifted to common cell. And whether or not this will continue will become clear today. Mustafa. Yes, of course, and these are procedures first for the police custody. Uh, it was in the third remand that Aryan, uh, even then the NCB was asking for further NCB custody of Aryan Khan, but the magistrate court had given judicial custody only then. Uh, after which last, uh, the, the Monday which passed, there was a bare argument which took place the entire day at the magistrate court and it was later decided that it was not maintainable. The bail application was not even maintainable at the court it was applied on. And after that, they appeared here in the... Uh, uh, the lawyers came here in the sessions court, the NDPS court, and after it came up for hearing. Remember that uh, bail hearing was not dated, uh, but still it was mentioned, and the NCB lawyers were present, and they said that they will file a reply. And the reply was, was filed, and the defence lawyers argued, and now the NCB today will be completing its argument. So it's a high-profile case, uh, this, and then. Uh, this time it's taken. There are many people whose bail applications don't come up for hearing even for months and months on. So now what we have reached is a day wherein at the sessions court at least we know that it's a one of the conclusive day for the bail hearing of Aryan Khan where the arguments will be finished. It will be on the um, sessions just to decide whether he wants to pass an order today and it's likely that he will pass an order after hearing the NCB's argument. We'll have to wait and see once the NCB lawyers reach there uh, because they are currently in Bombay High Court as some other case once they reach here the NDPS special court will have to see how the okay. day progresses how much time we can expect a bail order of Aryan Khan back to you and Mustafa will be right outside the court to tell us all the latest in just a short while at about 1 p.m. we are expecting likely a final decision that may come but the question remains and Mustafa stay on with me will superstar Shah Rukh Khan's son Aryan Khan finally get bail remember clearly Aryan among the other five are has made it a high-profile case. Mumbai Sessions Court will continue hearing the bail plea today. The court adjourned it yesterday. But Aryan's counsel, top lawyers like Satish Mane Shinde and the juniors are present in the court. Yesterday, remember, one of the top advocates, Amit Desai, was also presenting some strong arguments in defence of Aryan Khan. The hearing will start, however, only after additional Solicitor General Anil Singh will arrive in the court. ASG Singh will then continue his arguments against Shah Rukh Khan's son, but may arrive a bit late because we are being told that there are some other cases that he's representing. Already 12 days in custody for Aryan, 7 days in prison, and all of this with the drug bust case. But it's the Narcotics Bureau stating that it was in Aryan Khan's WhatsApp chats that there was a quantity of hard drugs and a mode of payment that was discussed. Could this become much more difficult for Aryan Khan today to get bail? That's the big news. We're just getting more updates coming in one by one. Remember what you see on your screen on one side is Aryan Khan in a police vehicle after he was taken into custody. On the other side, the manager and the bodyguard Pooja Dadlani and bodyguard Ravi Singh had yesterday in time arrived and there to be around, perhaps likely as the family could not. Remember, the father is a superstar of the country, globally well known as well. Mustafa is also outside the court. Mustafa, yesterday we saw the manager and the bodyguard arrive. Are we expecting a similar situation today? Because I do not think that the family members directly of uh, Aryan Khan and that the actor Shah Rukh Khan would come to the court at all. Well, yes, just a while ago we saw uh, manager Pooja, she entered from this same gate and went to the special NDPS court. Uh, it was only in the first hearing where she was not allowed and after that um, the, co uh, the lawyers had asked for special permission, defence lawyers, for her to be allowed. So she has already reached inside the court and now everybody is waiting for the NCB lawyers to arrive because they are the ones who have to argue today and conclude their arguments till the time the court is uh, taking other matters which are listed with it. But uh, 
as soon as the NCB arrives, it's then uh, the entire hearing of the case will uh, begin and then we'll have to see what arguments NCB makes against the bail application of Aryan Khan and two others and also what is it the uh, sessions judge decide on this bail order. Back to you. All right, Mustafa, stay on with me. Mustafa is telling us all that's happening. Remember, it's, all eyes are going to be on at least one of those who have been taken into custody and that's going to be Aryan Khan. Akshita Nandgopal now joins me to help you understand Aryan Khan's 10-point rebuttal. Because if the Narcotics Bureau is putting forth strong charges, the legal team of Aryan Khan is also putting a strong rebuttal. Take a look. Let's sum up for you what Aryan Khan's defense in court was, why he's seeking bail. Number one, he said very clearly that contrary to what the Narcotics Control Bureau is trying to say, he is not a drug peddler. They also very clearly said that he has no connection with all the other accused in the case, including model Moon Moon the Nature. Uh, also, Aryan Khan's legal team maintained in court that there's nothing new that the NCB has said in the fresh affidavit that they filed in court. They also maintained very clearly that Aryan Khan didn't have cash to buy commercial quantity of drugs as mentioned by the NCB. Arun Khan has also said in court very clearly that I've suffered, I've learnt my lesson, enough is enough, now give me bail. They've also said that the law must be reformative, not taking action against an individual but must seek to reform the individual. Uh, another defence that was put forth in court is that Arun Khan has not been charged by the NCB for illicit trafficking to remain in jail. I also put out one question. Where is this conspiracy that the NCB has charged him with? They've charged him for conspiracy as well. They're saying prove this charge. Uh, also, Aryan Khan has mentioned in court that six grams of charis was seized from Arbaz merchant, his friend. Again, not from him. So he's saying, why am I still in custody? All accused are not connected is another point that Aryan Khan's legal team has been stressing on, even as the NCB has been stating otherwise. But Mustafa also, because he's outside the court, Mustafa, I want to come across to you because I was, when yesterday the court hearing was on, I was uh, reading through the arguments that Vidya was also sending from inside the court. It appeared Amit Desai was very clear. If he said, how is the boy still in custody? Why should he be kept in if he has no possession, no consumption, no money to even buy drugs? So that do you think is going to be again mentioned here and the Narcotics Bureau then will have to rebut it. How long do you think the duration will be? When can we expect a final decision today? Well, uh, if you look at the entire case, uh, see, uh, yesterday uh, Amit Desai, the defense lawyer for Aryan Khan, uh, argued for about two and a half hours. After which, it was about one and a half hours for two more lawyers who argued, and then for one hour, the NCB lawyers have argued, and today, even now, for half an hour, they are going to argue. So, it is a long uh, hmm. stake of argument and case side, say, uh, case being cited uh, at the sessions court, and when the judge uh, passes an order, he'll have to take uh, note of all these arguments. So uh, once the NCB concludes, um, if uh, they conclude their argument in half an hour, then okay. we can say that about one, uh, one hour could be the time with the magistrate, uh, with the uh, sessions judge also taking to pronounce the order if he is doing it today itself. Back to you. All right, Mustafa, thank you very much for all the latest on that. Stay tuned.